Hi everyone, uh, in this video I would like to show you quickly how to register things to AWS IoT Core by using the Boto3, uh, the Python software development kit of AWS. Um, so this is not a very uh, a deep tutorial, but it's more, it's just, uh, I, I only wanted to show you how it works. Uh, all the content of this tutorial, you can find it uh, on my uh, GitHub repository, which is also uh, which is also given in the video description. Uh, so I just want to show you quickly how it works. So basically, uh, when you go to the AWS IoT Core in any chosen uh, region, this is uh, your user interface. We have some things on the left. We have some certificates, policies, uh, and also some think types and think groups. Uh, so normally you can either register things by using this user interface, either uh, that's creating a single thing or you can also create many things. But in any case, uh, you are uh, you have to use the uh, this uh, console. Uh, it, however, in this repository that I created, I wanted to show you how to automate this. So. Without further ado, I want to show you the code. So this is the, the GitHub repository that I'm using. Um, under the scripts, we have some configuration file uh, and main file and utils and also another file for testing the MQTT connections. So let's start by following the main um, script. The idea here is uh, to register things in bulk by using a fleet provisioning process. And I have divided uh, this process into seven steps. First, uh, I'm starting with the IoT core reset, which deletes all the existing things, certificates and policies. So if you mess up the IoT core and you want to uh, start a fresh new, so this is a nice function to delete everything. Uh, the second one is also the same purpose for SH, um, S3 bucket um, because we also need a S3 bucket in this process and this function also deletes everything uh, in the S3 uh, service. Uh, but this is not often necessary so I just keep it for experimenting stuff. Uh, and, and the rest is first we need to create a provision file. Provision file is actually a JSON file, which is here, uh, and consists of multiple things. And each thing has a thing name, thing type name, and thing ID, and so on. Um, after creating this configuration file, we will upload this configuration file into S3 bucket. And because we have to do this because it's also uh, used in the creating bulky things function. After uploading um, provisioning file into S3 bucket, now we register things. And once we register things successfully, we also create things, uh, create certificates, and then we create policy, and then we attach everything. And in this configuration file, um, there are some parameters used. You can find these parameters and explanation in the readme file. So now let's start, let's create, uh, let's say 50 things and the thing type name is a Vico and the prefix name where I'm using my things is e-scooter because as you see, we know we see e-scooter everywhere, which is a really nice IoT application. And let's run the main script. So yeah, first I'm deleting everything, things, certificates, policies, and then we um, configure the S3 bucket, and then we create a task to register things. And after we register the things, um, we are getting the certificates. The certificates are uploaded here, downloaded here, it's changing certificates and also keys, uh, private and public keys, they are also stored here locally. So once everything is done, we are, we are creating a policy 
And now it's time to attach certificates, things and policies all together. So this will take a little bit time. So um, we can either create one certificate and share it within the things or we can create uh, another certificate for each thing. But in order to keep the complexity level uh, in low, I am only creating one certificate and, uh, and then attach it. So now successfully we finished. So we go back, a quick refresh. Yeah, now we have 50 things registered. We have team groups, uh, sorry, thing types, uh, vehicle type. Which I also have a waste bin type uh, I didn't use in this project. And when you go back to security, we have 50 certificates. And each certificate, if you go, is only attached to a certain thing and we are i'm using a general policy to make it to test connections later on so that's it i hope you enjoyed it uh yeah all the details you can find uh in my repository thank you